Good morning. It is Thursday the 29th of July. Last week two of our grandchildren went round a maze made from the crop maze near where they live. Before they entered the maze they posed for a picture around a sign which read we are taking on the challenge of the Caromina maze maze. Could this be the last picture of us all together? Tackling a maze can be very challenging with all the dead ends you can encounter and is usually made more difficult because you cannot see over the edges of the maze to find out where you actually are. But thankfully, you will always come out the other end. A few years ago, the local Anglican church created a labyrinth in the grass outside the church. The grass was allowed to grow quite high and then the route for the labyrinth was cut. Do you know the difference between a maze and a labyrinth? They each provide a route to the centre. The difference is that a labyrinth has a single continuous path which leads you to the centre. As long as you keep going, you will eventually get there. A maze, however, has multiple paths which branch off and will not necessarily lead you to the centre. You need to make a choice whether to follow a path which diverges or to keep to the path you are on. Mazes are meant to confuse and frustrate, whereas labyrinths are made to provide rest and calm to visitors. Labyrinths are sometimes found in cathedrals. The most famous is probably the one in the cathedral in Chartres. To go back to the labyrinth in Scripton. One day I decided to give it a try. I walked round and just when I thought I'd arrived at the centre I realised I had another half of the labyrinth to walk. It started off being quite peaceful but soon lots of children were running up and down the labyrinth not caring in which direction they were going. Not all the adults knew the right way either and wanted reassurance they were headed in the right direction. Some didn't complete the walk, especially when, like me, they thought they'd arrived at the centre when they still had quite a long way to go. It strikes me that life can be like a maze or a labyrinth. We can feel frustrated by wrong decisions we have made and we can feel we've never really got to grips with what life is all about. We can often feel that we've reached a dead end. Or we can believe we have chosen the correct path and keep on going even if it takes a long time to arrive at the destination. Our journey through life as Christians can sometimes seem difficult and sometimes easy. It's wonderful to know that when we go wrong we can ask for forgiveness, turn around and get back on track again. We may feel we've gone wrong sometimes when things don't happen as quickly as we think they should, but we can trust in God and what he is doing. The main thing is that we follow the way, that we follow Jesus who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, that Jesus came to show us the way to live. Thank you that you give us your Holy Spirit to guide us each day. Be with those who feel lost and who cannot find the right way to go and with those who feel frustrated with life. May they come to know your love and presence with them as they journey through life. Amen.